Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my underground lair. I have assembled before me the world's best news production team, and yet each one of you has failed to keep Austin Powers from entering the studio. And that makes me angry. And when Dr. Evil gets angry, Mr. Tiggersworth gets upset. And when Mr. Tiggersworth gets upset, students get detention. I put the girl in Tiger, baby, yeah. Who are these people? You've been frozen for 30 years. The shouting is a temporary side effect of the unfreezing process. Yes, I'm having difficulty controlling the volume of my voice. And now, the bulletin for Friday, June 1st. Today, seniors will be checking out of school, and then it's adios, seniors. Bye-bye. Seniors, be sure to clear any outstanding diploma holds you may have as soon as possible. Fines for books or uniforms must be cleared before you check out. Being debt-free is liberating, baby. Seniors, time is up. All of your evil Apex classes should be finished if you wish to check out today and be in the graduation ceremony. If not, I suppose you'll have to watch your arch frenemies via live streaming as they pick up their diplomas. Today, from 8 to 12, these groovy graduating seniors will meet in the gym for an award ceremony and a final brief briefing about senior stuff. Yeah, baby. Also, for all procrastinating and insolent seniors, if you have not ordered a cap and gown yet, but find you are going to need one, unless it is your plan to go au oh, natural, just remember your parents will be in attendance, please bring $40 cash to the senior meeting today and purchase a gown set, or Mr. Tiggersworth and Tiggersworth and I will publicly shame you. Next Monday through Thursday, that's four days of those for those of you who remember your math, seniors will be expected to report for graduation practice from 7.30 a.m. until 1 p.m. Don't be late. Attention juniors! For a moment I thought we only had seniors at this school. Are you interested in leaving campus? Yes! For lunch? Yes, please! During your senior year? That's gastronomic, baby. Please be sure to complete and return your application by June 7th, 2018. That's this year. Applications are available in the Evil Principal's Office. Applications submitted after the deadline will not be accepted. Did you audition to be part of one of our exciting gold-rated choirs? I did. I sang Don't You Wish Your Girlfriend Was Hot Like Me by the Pussycat Dolls. It's one of Mr. Tiggersworth's favorite. Don't you wish your girlfriend was hot like me. Don't you wish your girlfriend was bald like me. Okay. Out of sight, man. However, auditions were last week. For all of those undergraduates, see Mr. Still in the choir room for more information if you missed the auditions, but still wish to be in choir for some far out fun. Always wanting to have fun, Austin. That's you in a nutshell. No, this is me in a nutshell. Ooh, I'm in a nutshell. Ooh, look at me, I'm in a nutshell. That reminds me, don't forget football practice today. If you're interested in participating cross country next fall, jog on over to room 536 to see Miss Medor. Gur, baby. Coach Ray in room 211 has the info regarding the summer program for next year's boys volleyball team. I can dig it. Get it? Dig it? Dig it. Yeah. Oh, never mind. Yes, yes, I get it. The Christian Club meets every Thursday during lunchtime in Mr. Still's choir room in the corner of the quad near the library. All are welcome. I hear they're going to pray for you, Dr. Evil. As you can see, Christian Club has a campus-wide prayer ministry for anyone, including me, who needs a prayer. Simply write down your request, like say, oh, I don't know, please help me pass my finals next week so I don't have an extra year of high school, and then drop it in one of the following locations. Christian Club will pray for you. So in room 722, Mr. Still. Room 222, Mrs. Miller. Room 504, Mrs. McNeely. She's a sexagenarian, you know. Room 207, Mr. Salcedo. Room 113, Mr. Daly. Room 103, Mrs. Buss. And room 102, that diamond maker, Mr. Stewart. Hey, 2018-2019 crew, Link Crew leaders, don't shine this on. There's a mandatory event on Monday, June 4th from 1.30 to 3.30. Meet outside the gym. Apparently, they are not hip enough to meet inside the gym. 
<laughs> Your books have arrived in room 115. The cost is $85 cash. Ooh, must have been unfreezing myself. On the sale during on sale during lunchtime only. Considering there is a 30-page expose in pictures on moi, you may want to eat before you attempt to look at some of the disturbing photos. Sorry, I threw up in my mouth for a moment. <laughs> North Mountain Middle School is looking for 10 gnarly volunteers to help them out next Wednesday. Please see Miss Lola in the front office if you wish to donate your time by doing North Mountain a solid. You will earn community service hours for this groovy baby, yeah. Austin, there is something I must tell you. Yeah, lay it on me, man. I am your father. Groovy, man, that's totally patridelic. But if you're my father, why won't you run, why did you run out on me? You see, Austin, because you were not quite evil enough. It's true, it's true. You weren't semi-evil. You weren't quasi-evil. You weren't even the margarine or Diet Coke of evil. Just one calorie, not quite evil enough. And I didn't attend eight years of evil medical school to have a do-gooder for a son. Sorry, I won't sink to your standards, man, but I'm stoked to finally know that you're my old man. Hey, there's an evil rumor that next week is the last week of school. It is, and it'll be a time for the beaches, babes, and boogieing. In the countdown schedule, Monday will be an early release day, like Friday schedule, man, where underclassmen will attend all classes, and you'll get out at 118. Tuesday begins the final nightmare. It's a minimum day, zero period, intervention fifth and sixth periods, and you are out at 1224. Tuesday night is Senior Scholarship Night from 5 to 7 p.m. Seniors will attend in their cap and gown if they brought the $40 to pay for them. Otherwise, I don't know what you are doing. Wednesday is a minimum day. Attending zero period intervention, third and fourth periods, and you'll get out at 1224. And then Thursday is the final, final day. It is also a minimum day attending zero period intervention first and second period. You will be out by 1220. Thursday will be the last day of classes for the 2017-2018 school year as well as the end of the fourth quarter. That's far out, baby. No backpacks will be allowed at school on the last day. Yeah, that is very important. Groovy graduation will be on Thursday evening from 7.30 until 9.30. Yeah, baby. Austin, since I need money for my summer vacay, I have a plan. It's called blackmail. The NFL is one of the wealthiest organizations in the world. Either the NFL pays us an exorbitant amount of money, or we make it seem like the New England Patriots deflated footballs during an AFC championship competition, which will force Tom Brady to be suspended. Dr. Evil, the deflate gate investigation occurred after the 2015 AFC Championship game and Tom Brady served four game suspension. Right. People, you have to tell me these things. I've been frozen for 30 years. Throw me a bone here. I am the boss. I need the info. Okay, okay, no problem. Here's my second plan. Back in the 60s, I had a weather changing machine that was called, in essence, a sophisticated heat beam, which we called a laser. Using these lasers, we punch a hole in the protective layer around the earth, which scientists call the ozone layer. Slowly but surely, ultraviolet layers will pour in, increasing the risk of skin cancer without unless the world pays us a handsome ransom. That also already has happened. Shoot, oh heck, then let's just do what we always do. Extend the school year indefinitely and hold the students at San Jacinto High hostage. Yes, good. It has come to my attention that high school registrar named Kelly Clark will be acquiring transcript grades in a few days. Here's the plan. We intercept the transcripts and keep school in session until their parents send us a ransom for one million dollars. Don't you think we should ask for more than a million dollars? A million dollars isn't exactly a lot of money these days. Heck, Mr. Smith, the school principal, makes a million dollars, man. Gee, that so seemed like such a lot of money. Really? Okay, then we'll keep the school year going by holding the student ransom for 100 billion dollars. Oh, behave, Dr. Evil. You really expect them to pay? No, Mr. Powers. I expect the parents to leave their children in high school forever. Mwah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Ha 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 